Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is iTalk here, and in today's video, we have a brand new video. So today we're going to be talking about Carol G. Now, Carol G is the new person that we have here in Fortnite. It's the new Fortnite festival season, and we kind of already knew this already coming into this season of Fortnite festival, considering the fact of that humongous leak that happened that exposed everything that was going to be coming with the roadmap and stuff like that. I've seen a lot of conversation around Carol G. I've seen a little bit going on about it, and I wanted to talk about it for a video today because I thought it'd be a little bit interesting. The biggest complaint I'm seeing about it is that no one knows who she is. At least in the US, it seems like a lot of people are like kind of confused. But the thing is that people don't seem to understand is that she's a very international sort of celebrity, I'd like to say. I don't want to put words into mouths or anything like that. I don't want to say like, oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. I really don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just kind of chilling, not really knowing who Carol G is either. Like, I'll be straight up. I don't know who she is either. But like, if you look on her Spotify, I mean, lo and behold, Carol G is 62 million monthly listeners. She's not unknown. But like in the US, it does seem like she's not super well known. And it's not just Fortnite players either, because I know Fortnite players don't know all the source material for all the collaborations that we get in the game and stuff like that. I'm one of those people, I don't either. In comparison to everyone else that we've ever gotten for festival, I mean, let's think about it. we got Lady Gaga, we got Billie Eilish, we got Metallica. We've gotten so many different sort of bands and groups and artists and just stuff like that that everyone knows, right? And the next one we're getting after this one, spoiler alert, is Snoop Dogg. And everyone knows who Snoop Dogg is too. So people are kind of conflicted with Carol G as a whole. Why is she even in festival? Now, I've already showed you the numbers. Like, she is very prevalent. I wouldn't say like, oh, she doesn't deserve to be in festival. She doesn't deserve to be in Fortnite. She absolutely does. I absolutely do think that she does belong in Fortnite Festival, even though I know a lot of people will say she doesn't deserve it. And that's just because blatant not knowing who she is. I don't really know who she is either. I don't listen to her music. I've listened to it and it's not really for me. I'm more into like hard rock, metal. I like some gangster rap here and there. Anything that sounds good, I'm gonna like it. But with Carol G's music, it's not really for me like at all. And, and that's fine. Like not everyone is gonna be your type of music. I think people can kind of understand that, right? I think people can understand, like, people aren't into the music that everyone else is into. Like, people have different tastes. It's like Fortnite skins. With Fortnite skins, it's like, you might like one skin, someone else might not like it. It is what it is, and there's no offense in that, there's no shame in that. With Carol G's introduction to the game, people are confused with it. And again, saying, I don't know who she is, I don't know who she is. Again, I don't really know who she is either. She is very well known internationally, okay? Like, she is. And that's why she's in the game. And I think that's fair. And also, it makes sense. Like, Fortnite has to diversify their Fortnite festival, like, headliners. They have to. It can't just be all things that you know. There has to be some mix. There has to be some things that you just don't know about. The other thing I wanted to talk about with the Carol G thing is that she had a concert recently. And it's very similar to the one that we had for Metallica. And I'll be straight up with you guys. It was really good. I was not expecting it to be as good as it was. I said, bro, the Carol G concert was mind blowing. Please check it out if you haven't yet. I wasn't expecting a lot because I wasn't. And it was actually mind blowing. It was really good. Okay. And again, I don't care for the music. I really don't, but it sounds good. And the visuals of everything, I couldn't believe I was even playing Fortnite with how good the visuals are. I was really shocked by how good they were. It felt like the Ariana Grande concert, almost, sorta. Uh, obviously, there has to be some limitations. It's not gonna be that great, but like, it was still really good for what they pulled off with it. And again, it's for someone that, you know, we don't really know all that much, at least me personally. I saw someone say like, oh, it, this was even better than Metallica. And guess what? I love Metallica. I have a ton of songs added to my playlist. I love Metallica. They're bangers, dude. The thing is, is that, yeah, I feel as though this concert was better than the Metallica one. And that's not to make any offense to any other concerts or any other creative events. But then again, I saw people saying that the Marshmallow concert was better than this. I don't think that's even a comparison. But, you know, people have opinions. You know, you got to respect people's opinions, even if you don't agree with them. You know, that's what we're coming down to. And the thing is, is that like with this sort of thing, I saw people saying like, oh, I was glazing this event. Like I was glazing it. 
Guys, I feel like I'm really negative on Fortnite. So the one time I'm positive, I'm glazing Fortnite. That's just... Again, it's people's opinions. They can say what they want. That's totally fine. But my line of thinking is like, it just, what do you want? Like, if you don't like it, don't play it then. I genuinely thought it was really good. Okay. And again, this is coming from someone that knows nothing about her stuff. I don't listen to it because it's just not for me. And also, I just, I've never heard it before. And, and to be fair, I'm kind of a bad example with this because I don't listen to a lot of music that's like popular. I guess if that makes any sort of sense, like I didn't know about like the Expresso song. I still don't really know what that song is at all. I don't know. My, my music taste is very different, I would say. But I will say like, I I'm glad I gave her a chance because like her stuff is not terrible. It's just not fully for me. What's also interesting that I love about like Festival is that I've added music to my playlist that's from Fortnite Festival. Like, if we look at my Spotify here, shout out to my iTalks playlist, by the way, shout out, shout out. I have music from a lot of different things, and some of them actually came from festivals. So, like the NLE Choppa song, I like this song a lot. It's really good. And I knew I would like NLE Choppa anyway, but still, it, it's really good. The Roses uh, remix, really good. Runaway by Witch Gang. This is the best Witch Gang song. I hate the first one and the second one wasn't good either, but the third one they released was really darn good. So yeah, I don't know. I feel like people need to give a chance to these sort of songs and just be like, listen, if it's not for you, it's not for you. But like, don't be like, don't immediately dismiss the Carol G stuff just because you don't know anything about her. Look into her, do some research, listen to some of her music. I don't know. I'm not here to tell you what to do, but like, Instead of, like, mindlessly complaining that, like, who lol is she? Like, who is she? Just, you know, maybe discover her a little bit. Or just don't complain about it. Like, there's going to be people that do know who she is, obviously. There's a huge audience for her. I feel like people need to be a little bit nicer towards the, the character, the person in general. Because this is a real-life person we're talking about, too. And honestly, I, I, it's not like I, I, I don't care enough to know more about her. I don't know. It's tough for me to explain. But basically, I understand people's concerns about Carol G and how it's not very prevalent to maybe you because you know it's kind of similar with me with like bad bunny I had no idea who the dude was until i was you know he appeared in wrestling and that's how i got to discover bad bunny a little bit and his stuff is good too but again i understand why this isn't like you're not going to hear carol g on the on the radio at least for us i don't think you're going to you kind of have to discover her a bit. I, at least that's my line of thinking. I could be completely wrong. Maybe she is on the radio. I don't listen to the radio. I listen to my own Spotify. Why would I listen to the radio in 2024 when you have Bluetooth and you have, you know, all that sort of stuff. So for me, like, I just haven't really heard much from her. But the whole point of this video is, like, I don't think she deserves all of the unnecessary negativity thrown her way. She's not that bad. And even if she was, like someone i really couldn't like bear to listen to they have to appeal to different people it can't just be oh i need bands that only i care about and it's got to be people i care about not everything's about you not everything's revolved around you you have to just take it and deal with it and if you don't want to deal with it then don't don't bother checking out any of the music don't bother playing any of the music don't bother buying any of the cosmetics just don't worry about it. it's just not for you Again, not everything is supposed to be revolved around one person. It's supposed to be the vast majority. And the vast majority have knowledge of things that we just don't fully know, you know? And that's kind of it. That's what I wanted to talk about today. I thought the event was good, and I don't think I was glazing Fortnite too much over it. I generally thought it was really good. So that's it for the video today, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know the like. Comment down below what you think about the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new and use code ITALK in the Fortnite item shop if you'd like to support me. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will catch you all in the next one. Have a good one, everyone. See ya.